What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing Optifine. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all the tutorials we upload just like this one. Minecraft, from a technical standpoint, is a marvel. Infinite world generation, complex cave ecosystems, dimensions, flying, and more. Much more. While it seems simple enough, coding these sorts of features is an immense and challenging task, and optimizing them is just as challenging. The fact that Minecraft runs so smoothly is a testament to the care that Mojang puts into Minecraft. However, it isn't infallible, as a consequence of all the big features Minecraft does have, it has a tendency to slow down especially on lower end PCs, and this increases exponentially when you add mods into the equation. Enter Optifine. Optifine, as it describes itself, is a Minecraft optimization mod. It lets Minecraft run much faster while looking better at the same time, enabling far more in-depth customization of performance and graphical settings and optimizing them at the same time. But that's not it. Alongside its customization suite, Optifine comes with support for HD texture or resource packs to spruce up the look of your game, as well as, and much more importantly, the ability to load shaders. Shaders are essentially little graphical programs that are added on top of the Minecraft game, making it look far prettier in just about every regard. Ambient inclusion, depth of field, procedural waves, and waving of flora, and even more advanced techniques such as volumetric lighting are a thing shaders can do. It's no wonder they've become an incredibly popular thing in Minecraft. To start off, we're going to need to download the correct version of Optifine for our version of Minecraft. We can do this by typing in optifine.net slash downloads in the search bar at the top of your browser or in Google, you can just search Optifine downloads. And then once you hit enter and get your results, the first result should be the official Optifine download webpage. Once you click on that and load up their page, you're going to see the latest version of Optifine. We're going to need to click on view available or other versions to get all of the different versions of Minecraft Optifine has to offer. From there, we can scroll down and find the version that we're going to need for our server. For this example, we're going to be using 1.7.10. Once you've found the version of Minecraft you'd like for Optifine, then you can just click on the download button, which is going to take us to the add page for Optifine to support them. And all you have to do from there is wait about five seconds and then a skip should pop up at the top right. Then you can click download which will start the download. Make sure to keep that file. And once the download is finished, you can go ahead and click and drag that file into a folder where you can locate it later on. To add Optifine to an unmounted Minecraft game, you're gonna need to install Forge first, the mod loader that's gonna load Optifine for us. If you're unsure on how to do this, we have a handy guide on installing Forge on our knowledge base. You can just head to our knowledge base and search for Forge. Now, once you've got Forge up and running, you're going to want to navigate to the Minecraft installation folder by hitting the Windows key and then typing percent app data and then percent and then hitting enter. This is going to bring up your dot Minecraft folder amongst many others. Once you're there, you can click into the dot Minecraft folder and then from the dot Minecraft folder, you're going to want to click into the mods folder. Then you can bring up the folder where you've downloaded Optifine and then you can click and drag the Optifine file into the mods folder. And that's it! Once it's in there, then the next time you load up Minecraft, you're going to start up with Optifine. If you've already got a mod pack set up and running on your computer and you just want to add Optifine to it, it's totally possible and super easy. I'm going to start off by showing you how to install this on Twitch. On Twitch, you're going to want to find your mod pack, right click it, and then click open folder, which is going to bring up your .minecraft folder for your mod pack. Then you can open up the folder where you have Optifine downloaded and then click and drag the Optifine file into the mods folder for your mod pack. Once you click and drag this over and it's uploaded in, you're ready to play your mod pack with Optifine installed. 
for adding Optifine to MultiMC, all you're going to need to do is open up MultiMC and then right click on the mod pack that you want to install Optifine on. Once you right click the mod pack, then you can open up the Minecraft folder for the mod pack. Then you can up the folder where you have Optifine downloaded to. And then all you have to do is click and drag the file into your mods folder and you're ready to play Optifine on MultiMC. For installing Optifine on the Technic launcher, you're going to need to go into the Technic launcher and then click on a mod pack that you want to install Optifine on. Then you can click on mod pack options to the top right and then you can click on open which will be to the right of the install location. And once you open it, all you need to do is open up the folder where you have Optifine downloaded and then click and drag the Optifine file into mods. For installing Optifine on the ATL launcher, what you're going to need to do is navigate to the instances tab to the right of the ATL launcher. From there, you're going to go ahead and click on open folder for the mod pack you'd like to install Optifine on. Then you're going to need to open up the folder you have Optifine downloaded to. And then you can click and drag the Optifine file into the mod subfolder for your mod pack. For installing Optifine on your Void Draft launcher, all you're going to need to do is start off by clicking on a mod pack that you'd like to install Optifine on. Then, once you have that mod pack selected, you can click on Advance to the right of the mod pack. Then, you can click on Edit Mods. This is going to open up the Mods folder for that mod pack, and then you can just open up the folder we have Optifine downloaded to, and then click and drag the file into that folder. For installing on the FTB launcher or Feed the Beast launcher, all you're going to need to do is click on the My Mod Packs tab of the launcher. Then from there, you're going to want to find a mod pack that you'd like to install Optifine on. Then click on the three dots to the right of the mod pack. Then on this new page, you can click on the Open Folder button. And then from there, you can open up the folder where you have Optifine downloaded to. And then you can just click and drag the Optifine file into the mods folder. Configuring Optifine is just as easy as it is to install Optifine. With Optifine up and running on your system, take a peek at the updated options menu of your Minecraft game. Once you head into video options, you're going to notice a large number of new manageable settings grouped into multiple menus. Hovering over each option is going to bring up what the option changes and what it's for. Some options increase performance and some decrease it. Some have conditions applied to them, but it's all laid out very clearly and concisely. At the start, Optifine's features already come pre-optimized for an experience that'll be optimal for the largest amount of players. If you ever feel like tweaking a setting, be sure to do it gradually and don't make gigantic changes all at once. By changing things little by little and seeing how they affect things in the game, you're going to save yourself the trouble of having to go through your summary of changes, one by one, to find the setting that's been causing you all of the issues that you accidentally turned on alongside all of the other ones. It's also worth noting that Optifine is a client-side only mod, meaning it only needs to be installed on your computer or the user's computer in order to run. Installing it on a server is going to cause your server problems if not outright crashing the server. Minecraft, if you want it to be, can be as simple to use as installing it and pressing play. However, every player should be aware of all the free and painless to use options at their disposal to make their gameplay experience smoother. And Optifine is a perfect example of this. Making the game both prettier and better performing at the same time is no small feat and that it adds support for robust shader customization is just as impressive. Installing it is quick and easy, and using it, even more so. So, why not check it out? Well folks, that's all I've got for you today, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.